So, let me give you a backstory this time, in case you have not seen the video. There was a, uh, there were two women, two black women, no, there were three black women inside of a Victoria's Secret. Two of the black women were shopping. One of them was shoplifting. They caught the one black woman who was shoplifting, detained her, they arrested her, and the manager, a white woman of the store, told the two black women who were just shopping, told them that they had to leave. They didn't know the woman who was shopping. I don't even think they knew each other. But the manager of the store, this white woman, decided since they were black, they had to go. That they were a threat and they were a liability. Since then, Victoria's Secret has come forward and said that they do not uh, discriminate against races and gender, sexes, creed, blah, 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 that the manager had been fired, blah, 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 blah. Um, no, no, Isaiah, no, Isaiah. They shouldn't be ashamed. Black people should be ashamed for shopping in places like that. to you the scenario that has taken place. So this woman in the store, while she's still in the store, she's saying, I could buy everything in here. I have a career. I make enough money where I can buy everything in this place. She stomps out to her car after they kicked her ass out. After they kicked her black ass out, she stomps back to her car. And she's so upset, she's so frustrated, she's so hurt that she starts crying in her car because she makes enough money as to where she can afford to shop at Victoria's Secret. She makes enough money and has a career that she should be able to buy from whatever white folks that have something to sell. I'm glad she got her black ass kicked out of that store. And I hope they do it some more. For eight years, we've been running around saying our president is black. Our president is black. Well, you're about to hear maybe eight years of Trump. My president is Trump. And this is what happened. These white folks are emboldened now. So they're not afraid to tell you exactly how they feel about you. That is the reality. The reality is not just because, baby, you have a mortgage, or baby, because you have a career, or baby, because you are college educated, or baby, because you got a couple coins in your purse and in your bank. You still cannot escape your skin, and you cannot escape white supremacy. Again, I'm glad they sent her black ass packing. Now, y'all could thank Javon... Javon M. Clark for this video because I wasn't even going to talk about this stupidity. I wasn't even going to talk about this because how many I see so many black women. I see so many black women fawning and even black men fawning over having pink on their ass. You want to walk around with pink on your ass. Now, I don't know if it's describing the color between your legs, but I know the intention is the color of their skin because they don't mark it to you, baby. Like Javon said, the clothes don't even fit black women right. They don't even look right on you. And those clothes are made for space in the back, baby. But you still want to sit up here and be included in that illusion. See, that's what happened to us when, 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 when segregation was abolished. When things were integrated, we felt as if we were then included into that crowd. White folks were forced to accept us. So we don't have to support black businesses. I was forced to go to your shoe shining store. But now that integration is here, I could go to the white man's shoe shining store. Even though he's probably going to use spit 
on my shoes as opposed to, to what the black man would use. I'll take massa spit anytime. And that's what you do. That's absolutely what you do. So I'm glad. I'm glad she got kicked out. After integration, black businesses plummeted. Okay? Destroyed. Obsolete. Because we felt as if we had made it to the promised land. White people could take our money now. And so we've been on this, this spiral of destruction of our people ever since and so now we get a good job and we got a couple coins and we can buy nice things if i have the money for it what's wrong if i have the money for it what's wrong with that what's the problem with that i just want i i make this i got a i got a master's degree and i went and got me this job and i went and did this and i went and did that now i can afford it now I can get, you can afford to get your ass kicked out too when they prove that you're nothing but a black bitch to them. And don't feel sorry for her, y'all, because she asked for it. She asked for it. Every time one of you Negroes line up for some Jordans, you ask to be disrespected. I have so many white folks that watch my videos, right? And they ask me, why don't black people? Stop buying that shit. Why do black people consistently go to places in which they are not wanted? Why? Why do you go? Why do you go and then you get mad when they treat you the way that they actually feel about you? So a little backstory on Victoria's Secret, right? I, I, I learned this from Javon Clark. And then I went and did a little bit more research for myself because I could not fucking believe it. I don't even remember this crafty cracker's name, but it was a white man who started Victoria's Secret back in the 70s, I think 1972. And he started Victoria's Secret because he claimed that it was difficult and embarrassing for a man to buy lingerie for his wife. So to cut out the embarrassment of buying lingerie for their wives, he created a store that was only for men. He created a store full of lingerie, panties, bras, stockings, ribbon and laces that was only for men. Women weren't even allowed to go in there. To your precious Victoria's Secret, women weren't even allowed to go in there. He was making Six million. The first year, the first year, he made five hundred thousand dollars. Flash forward to nineteen eighty-two. He was he sold the company for one million dollars. At that point, they had issued out the catalogs, and women were allowed to order from the catalogs at home. But look at what we're talking about here. We are talking about an institution, a business that was created for either homosexual men or cross-dressing men. Baby, baby, this shit was never meant for you in the first place. Even if you're female, it was not created for you. It was not made for you, let alone a black woman. So now you went and got your damn degree. You went and made, you're making you, yourself a little coin. You got yourself a mortgage somewhere, some imaginary you think that you own that shit, but the government can swoop in and take it at any time. You firmly believe in the American dream, and so you take your ass inside of a, 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 a Victoria's Secret, and because of those things, because of that money, that degree, that car you was driving, 
that house you live in, you felt as if you should be treated as a human being. Wrong. No matter how much money you get, no matter where you live, no matter how straight your hair gets, no matter how much you make, no matter what career you have, baby. White supremacy reigns. White supremacy reigns. And I hope that more of you get kicked out of Victoria's Secret. I hope during at, that this minimum of four years of this President Trump, that these crafty ass crackers get so brazen. I hope they get so much bravado that they finally tell you how they feel and how you fit in. Because that motherfucking cop or security officer or whatever came into that Victoria's Secret and still kicked your black asses out. You didn't do nothing wrong. You didn't steal nothing. They never even accused her of anything. But you still got your ass kicked out. That's how white supremacy reigns every single time. Know your fucking position within it. Know your role within it. Quit buying shit to try to appease that, that inferiority complex that was given to you by white supremacy. Quit trying to buy shit and elevate yourself with the intention of lifting yourself out of white supremacy. You will never, ever be able to do it. Because no matter how wrong that manager was, no matter how racist and disgusting that manager was, she still got your ass out the store, didn't she? Mm -hmm. And you still went and cried in your car. Y'all can wear pink on your asses if you want to. Go ahead. It's my money. If I got the money. You look dumb. You look stupid. You don't look cute. You don't look... You look branded. That's what you look like. You look like... You, you know, back in the day... When the slaves were coming here, oftentimes if they, if they would get the names of their masters, but they would also take on the name of the boat that carried them over. That's what you look like. That's what, that's what I see. That's what I see. You look branded by white supremacy. And the fact that you think, the fact that, that I saw somebody, somebody status, one of my friends, she's a dumb, goofy bitch. Um, she said, if your panties, no, if your something like, this was like a year or something ago, if your panties and your bra don't match and aren't from Victoria's Secret, then you aren't something, then you got your priorities messed up or something like that. y'all you better get it together real fast okay because they president is trump they president is trump their president is trump and they're not afraid to let you know your position please rethink where you spend your money please rethink uh you know we all can't do it at once I'm not saying move to a hut in the middle of the forest, in the woods somewhere, and, and survive only on clothes that you make yourself. What I'm saying is when somebody or something, an institution, an entity, tells you how they feel about you, believe them. Believe them. It's just like when a man, lady. When a man says he's not ready for a relationship, but he'll still have sex with you, and somehow you think that because you're cuddling at night and he's letting you stay over, and maybe sometimes you guys go out to dinner and he kisses you, and it just feels so good, he still don't want a relationship with you, baby. You should have believed him because now you're sitting and crying in your car. Understand your position, your role, and, and use your money to benefit you. Use your money to benefit you. Don't let it benefit your oppressor.